What's good, y'all? What's good? So you feel me? Um, I'm gonna come on here. This for the YouTube channel. You feel me? This for the page. Just you know, just sharing some words of wisdom and information that I deem is valuable, either life experiences, whatever. You know, the whole nine yards. You dig? You hear me? Ah! You hear your boy going crazy? But um. Yeah, man, so I was, you know, have a conversation with my brother today, and I was like, you know, I understand why people aren't able to drink herbal tea. <laughs> they aren't able to drink herbal teas, or not even just herbal teas, you know, they're not, they don't, like, how did you put it? It's like they view, they view healthy things in a bad mindset they 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 can't and uh, I, like i like i made something for somebody right I, like i made some supplements like some ginger fresh juice ginger fresh juice key lime and like two herbal teas one was like burdock root yellow dog and sarsaparilla the other was like elderberry goji berries and bilberries and you know these, uh, just the burdock, I know the burdock is very strong itself and the ginger and things like that. But I'm saying, I'm like, why don't, why do we have this crazy, crazy, uh, I would, it's not even a concept. Like we, we just have a, a bad mindset towards healthy things. Like people have no problem drinking liquor and wine. Liquor is not tasty. I don't care what you tell me, bro. Liquor is not tasty. If you was a, if you are a fresh newbie drinker, you're not just for the guzzle a bottle of liquor because it's not, it's not, it's not tasty. Even some wine, like when I used to drink wine, like wine wasn't even that, you know, unless you drinking Stella Rosa, you feel me? That's the only one I would drink. I'm like, this is, this is a flavorful wine. Other than that, wine not even that good. So I'm like, how could you, how do you, how can you easily ingest that stuff when it's it doesn't really bring you no benefits. You feel me? It, you might it might make you feel good, but it don't really bring you no health benefits. They say wine has its benefits, you know, stuff like that. But I'm saying it really don't bring no benefits. But on the contrary, the herbal teas and the squeezed juices, they they provide numerous benefits for your mind, body, and soul. So I'm like, why do why do we have that that you know why do we have that mindset towards these healthy things? Oh, I can drink the herbal teas and that, that shit was like that's nasty bruh what do you think a, this herbal tea was gonna taste like unless you sweeten it up you know sometimes I put agave in there to try to sweeten it up um, but I'm saying like how I how I view this stuff I'm like bruh this can be I can I can drink straight burdock root I can drink whatever you know my mindset towards is like if this stuff is gonna help me mentally, physically, you know, emotionally or whatever, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink it. It can be straight, 100 percent, 150 percent burdock root, no sweetener. I'm gonna drink it because I know this is gonna help my body in so many ways. You feel me? That's that's the mindset that I view towards a lot of healthy things, man. Like I've made stuff in the past. I'm like, man, it's too strong. You feel me? But I'm like, man, it it's, it's, it come, it has benefits to it. Like, and then also, at it, also, you know, now that I think about it, it's really your taste buds. You feel me? I, your your taste buds change over time. You know, they change, they change over time as you consume certain products. So, if you have a, if you eat a lot of highly processed foods, a high, a, a lot of, you know, fake food or just food that's chemically high high in chemicals you're not your taste buds is not going to crave that nat you know the natural product you, you feel me your, your taste buds is going to always look for that sweetness those chemicals you feel me that stuff that's going to make you feel good instantly that jolt of sugar and when you don't have that it's like your mindset is telling you nah this is nasty don't consume this like this is poison kind of thing when it really isn't poison but just because your 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 taste buds has has been fed so much, you know, 
so much chemicals, so much highly processed food. You feel me? That's what they desire. They desire all that sweetness. But you can, you, if you didn't know, you could change your taste buds. You can, you can acquire new taste buds just by changing how you eat. You can acquire new taste buds. I've, I've lived this. This is definitely has happened to me. I wasn't a fan of burdock root and sarsaparilla and, or just in general, tamarind. I was not a fan of tamarind juice. But when I started drinking tamarind juice, like a week or two weeks, like I just say, from when I first started to now, I like I like it. Like sometimes I don't even put the, I don't gotta put the agave in there to sweet it up because I'm like, man, I've I've acquired this taste for it. And that's I, you know, now that I think about it, that's really what that is. You feel me? When you don't eat, you know, fresh natural fruits, vegetables, herbs, or whatever. Your body isn't gonna crave it when it really should because it's it's from the earth. You feel me? It's, it's it, it helps you you get more in tune or whatever. But you know, a lot of people rely on these fake foods, man. We rely on these highly processed food foods that's on the shelf, which has zero life inside of it. You feel me? It's just loaded with chemicals to help the shelf life, but there's really no life inside of it. Man, bro, like we gotta, we gotta wake up, man. We gotta wake up and really realize what we doing to our body. You gotta be giving your body fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, vegetables, herbs, spices, all of that stuff. You gotta give your body all of the natural products. You feel me? Give it what it needs, not what it wants, and then you will slowly will acquire new taste buds and you will acquire those fruits i mean you will desire those fruits and those vegetables and those herbs you feel me those spices you gotta you gotta you gotta switch that you gotta make that switch that's what it is man stop you know limit yourself or even just go cold turkey and cut it all off stop drinking these sodas stop drinking eating all these highly processed chips like takis and cheetos you feel me eating all this candy you feel me it's not really beneficial, man. And at the end of the day, you can even make your own candy. Like, that's what I've been realizing more as I cook, you know. You can make all this stuff. They can, they can make this stuff, but it's really about profit. You feel me? It's about profit. So, you know, I can make all this stuff, but it really won't have a long shelf life. But I'm trying to sell more and increase my cost. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put all these chemicals and stuff like that and make the shelf like long so even if you don't buy it that month you might buy it next month you feel me so it's it, it's really it's really they looking out for themselves at the end of the day they're not they're not looking out for the the consumer's health it's really some 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 products are some companies are maybe that's why you got to pay more um but i always I, I advocate for doing it for yourself man that's all that's all what i'm about is that's that's the way is do it for yourself so we don't always rely on other people to try to do it for you because if they don't do it then how you gonna get your product you feel me that's why i'm at I'm, I'm more about self you know do for self we can't always rely on somebody else man you gotta learn how to rely on yourself that's gonna instill so much so many things inside of you build your belief system but build you up giving you self-worth Feel me? All of that, all that good stuff. So that's where I'm really going, man. We need to, we need to start eating more fruits and vegetables so we can acquire new, new taste buds, man. That, that's what this, that's what this video is about. Acquiring, acquire new taste buds. That's what it really is. It's really not about oh, I can't drink this stuff. It's just you, you. You know what you're comfortable with. You know what you what you what you like to eat. So it's like I'ma stay in my comfort zone. That's what it really is. These herbs and spices, they gonna get you out your comfort zone because they gonna shock they gonna shock your body. Your body gonna be like, hey bro, what's this? Yo, yo, intestines, your organs gonna be like, oh yeah, this stuff doing that stuff. But your taste buds gonna be like at first, like, bro, what? Who's man's, bro? Like, what you doing, bro? What you doing to me? You feel me? But over time, you 
you'll, you'll slowly get that desire for it. So that's what this video about. Um, yeah, I'm about to end it up. I'm about to go go home. Probably make some herbal tea. Probably make some chamomile. And the night chamomile and the tea. That's a sleep inducer, by the way. So if you if you're about to go to sleep or you had a long day, you know, put put some chamomile on the stove with some anise or whatever flavor other flavor you want to add to the tea, cloves, stuff like that, um, and it'll help. It'll help you sweeten it up, and you know you can enjoy your sleep. Go sleep good. Get those eight hours. So this was, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hope everybody's doing blessed. You know, having a blessed day. If you woke up, bless. You know, don't let society, you know, throw them curveballs at you because you don't you don't have all these materials that they say you should have. It's really not about that. It's not about it's not really about acquiring all these materials because one you can't take with you. So it's like why why am I chasing all this stuff that I can't take with me? I'd rather be chasing chasing what's inside of me so really chasing like a new a new mindset a new heart you know a new personality you know things that i can take or not even things that i can take things that are going to help it's going to benefit others more than it's going to benefit me it's going to benefit me as well but i'm saying me having an if you know having certain material things could benefit others like you having a car you can help people out you know having a house you know things like that but having this new watch having these newest clothes you know newest gadgets all this stuff most of the stuff you don't really need you know you want it but you don't need it um so yeah man i'm, I'm rambling right now i could talk about a lot of things but i'm gonna wrap up this video peace and love y'all